Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodoshan here. We are making a s'mores lab today, so let's go. You will need a bag full of your reactants, which are your ingredients, your balance, a Bunsen burner, and a stick for roasting your marshmallows. Here's everything that you can see that will be inside your bag. So the very first thing we need to do is take the mass of all of our reactants. We're gonna go ahead and start by taking the mass of one gram cracker, and you can see it comes out to eight grams. Then we're gonna go ahead and take the mass of one marshmallow, and it comes out to 6.7 grams. Then we're gonna do the same thing for one piece of chocolate, and that comes out to 11.9 grams. We are gonna make a s'more with two graham crackers, one piece of chocolate, and one marshmallow. So when you're doing your theoretical yield, you need to add up the mass of just those components. Do not add your excess reactants into your theoretical yield. Now let's go ahead and do the fun part and roast the marshmallow. We are making a s'more now and this will be our actual s'more, right? So we can have our actual yield. So get it as toasty as you like. I know everybody likes a different amount of toast on their marshmallow, um, but then you're gonna make the s'more in the same way. Two pieces of graham cracker, one marshmallow, and one piece of chocolate. And then you're gonna take that roasty toasty s'more and put it on your balance and take the mass of it, and that will be your actual yield that you have for your s'more. Once you do that, I'm just gonna show you a shot. This is what we have left. So we have an excess of one marshmallow and an excess of two graham crackers, which means our chocolate was our limiting reactant here. We could not make another one because we ran out of chocolate. Okay, so if you're a visual person, here's our little lab report that we did. And you can see all of our masses there, the theoretical yield where we've added up our one marshmallow, one piece of chocolate and two graham crackers turned out to be 34.6 grams. And then our actual mass was 33.2 grams, so it's less than theoretical, which is perfect. And then in order to get your percent yield, you are gonna do your actual yield divided by your theoretical yield and then times it by 100 in order to turn it into a percent. And we ended up getting 95.9% .9 yield, which is perfect. So again, our limiting reactant was chocolate and our excess was our graham crackers and marshmallows. I hope you all enjoyed this lab. Go ahead and subscribe to see more. Bye, everybody.